Hi, welcome to SIG5. And um, today I'd like to explain something as it's been brought to me by one of my students about meditation. As I was sharing, yeah, I meditated and I had this really cool idea. And then um, he said, what do you mean? You're thinking why you're meditating? Hmm. You're not. Rather, you're observing thoughts. Just observe them like you would lay down. And you will watch the sky and the clouds passing by. From the wind, one cloud, then another cloud, then some more little clouds, then a bigger one. These are your thoughts, you know, but you observing them makes you more aware in the moment and If you are the observer, you can have a better opinion of what to do with things. So meditation is not really at the absence of thoughts per se. It's more like awareness being in the present moment. So if you are actively trying to remove thoughts and fight them and all that, then you're not really meditating, you're like fighting them and torturing yourself rather than just relax and be like oh there's a thought and blah 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 on the rabbit hole a whole bunch of other thoughts and shit instead once you find yourself in there then think okay that was a thought and a bunch of thoughts coming after that next and next and next and there's a bunch at some point you know you get used to just noticing things and not really engage per se and go in rabbit holes with them one of those things it takes practice like everything else takes practice not like you're going to become a master of it because it's not really the destination but it's the journey and you're never going to be like the master of it don't think that you're always in progress always practicing always getting better or worse moving anyway with that said, how about when you wake up in the morning, every morning, think, wow, it's amazing to be alive and have a full breath and be existing and I'm going to have an amazing day and I'm going to spend five minutes just laying here and be me and be grateful for who I am. How would that make your day different? I used to wake up and like, oh, let me see what I have to worry about. You know? And um, that's been my life for a very long time. Let me see what I have to worry about. Because your brain resets when you're sleeping. It's like a computer. It resets and then you kind of forget worries, good and bad things. And then when you wake up, you're quickly remembering. What if you delay the act of worrying, but remember that you're here, you're alive, and there's another day for you? Anyway, let's find a comfortable sitting or laying down position. We're going to begin with quick meditation and remember your goal is not really to not have any thoughts as a matter of fact have thoughts have a ton of thoughts and just observe them but also have an intention make an intention for the class that we're going to remind ourselves throughout the class 
and rainy poster for the rest of the week. And this intention could be anything from I'm grateful to I'm focused to I'm a millionaire, whatever it is that is for you. But have it in present time, I am. All right. And comfortable sitting position or laying down position. Close your eyes for just a minute or two minutes or three minutes. And notice where is your breath today. Is it shallow, just in the chest? Move right to the belly. Belly extends forward on inhalation, belly towards the spine on exhalation. Belly out, inhale, belly in. Full breath. We will try to maintain that breath throughout the practice. Inhale, belly out. Exhale, belly in. Begin relaxing the skull and the face. The space between the eyebrows, the jaw, neck and throat and shoulders, chest, arms and hands, core, and lower abdominal, relax the thighs and the knees and Exhale, relax the toes and heels. And breathe. Full inhale to all the extremities, to the fingers and the toes. Exhale, belly in. Begin from the toes, going up the body, feet, ankles, knees, thighs, scanning through the body, relaxing each part that is not relaxed yet. Relax the chest, abdominal, hands and arms. Shoulders, neck and face, visualize yourself laying down, looking at the sky, and there are clouds, and the sun but clouds, one cloud is passing by, another one, just like we thought in the beginning of the class, we made 
Those clouds are your thoughts. You observe them. Here is a thought. Oh, look, there is another one. Observe, don't engage. Just don't engage. If you do, that's fine. But eventually you're gonna catch yourself engaging and you're gonna be like, oh, I'm engaging with that thought. Okay, bye. Belly in on inhale, belly out on exhale. What it is like to be you right now in this present moment, it ain't that bad, is it? It's perfect. Now, if you haven't set an intention yet, go ahead and do that. If you have, repeat it three times in your head in present time. And I want you to remember this intention each time I make the sound of magic. Magic. Remembering your intention, repeating it three times in your head in present time. You're laying down, if you need to, it's a fine your way into sitting position. If you're sitting, go inhale to the belly, exhale belly towards the sky. Begin matching movement with breath, inhaling hands up towards the sky. Belly forward, exhaling hands all the way in. Faster, inhale up towards the sky. Exhaling lower in. At your own pace. Almost moving the belly upward. down and move your head towards the left, relax the shoulders, breath is going into the belly, move your head towards the right, breath the belly, head straight, 
you make it circle through the head. the belly. Reverse the circle. Bring your hands above the head. Place the right arm in front. Wrap the left one around. Facing out the shoulder blades, relax both shoulders. Bring your in hands above the head. Move the left arm forward, wrap the right one underneath, behind, and wrap both of them for you go on the side. Move the shoulders down, moving the palms down, moving the chin down, moving the palms forward. Inhaling the hands above the head. And place them somewhere behind you, brushing the chest forward. Try not to collapse the shoulder blades behind you. Bringing the chin towards the sky. Where is the breath? Back to neutral and place it. Wiggle your fingers, left ear towards the left shoulder. Right ear towards the right shoulder. Does it make any difference between left and right? Left ear towards the left shoulder. Tuck your chin towards the chest. Keep the left ear towards the left shoulder. Back to neutral, right ear towards the right shoulder. Tuck the chin towards the chest, keep the right ear towards the right shoulder. <coughs> Back to neutral, inhaling hands above the head. Far away from the tailbone, interlacing fingers. And then lean towards the left. Anchoring right sitting bone, regardless of your sitting position, doesn't matter. We're anchoring the right sitting bone and stretching the entire right side. Really good. Try to keep the arms behind the ears. Lean towards the right. Left sitting bone anchor. And breathe. And back to natural. Gently lean forward with the arms, facing on the shoulder blades, taking the chin towards the chest, moving the arms down. Inhaling, hands back up towards the sky and float them down. Keep the entire spine stretched as it is right now. And we'll, we'll make a transition into tabletop. Hands and knees underneath us, and every time you are on your hands, you want to spread fingertips. If you don't have any wrist issues, then you do a fist and you stay on your fists. So, always watch the elbows to be shy of love, so not completely straight or long, like a little bit shy of love, strong to protect the joints. 
inhale moving the chin remember tailbone up towards the sky and on exhale <clears throat> pushing the mat away and rounding the back and keep the flow at your own pace Matching the breath with movement. Inhale up, exhale round the back. Inhale, left leg behind you, up from the floor. Move it towards the right, look at it. Move it towards the left and look at it. Strong core. Even the core is strong here, you still send the breath through the belly. So, Kind of have to be mindful about it. Strong core, yet breath goes to the belly. So don't restrain the breath. Ever. Look towards the right and the foot towards the right. Look towards the left and the foot towards the left. <laughs> Back to regular tabletop. So there is a lot of truck noise going on what you want to do is use the noises around you or coming from anywhere that is like not right now in the moment but it's like some other people those noises are bringing you back into the present moment more just use that as a focal point versus oh i wonder what that is Inhale, right leg behind and move it towards the left. Look at it. Then towards the right. Look at it. Back towards the left. And right. Strong core, pushing the mat away with the hands, so not collapsing on the arms, but pushing the mat away actively. And elbow shad lock. Keep those elbow shad lock as we move the regular tabletop, tuck the toes in, and then moving to downward facing dog, lifting the tailbone up towards the sky. Begin walking one foot at a time, as in like left heel down, inhale, exhale. Right heel down, inhale, exhale. Left heel down, inhale and exhale. Right heel down, inhale and exhale. Both heels down, inhale and exhale. Actively pushing the mat away with the hands. Do not collapse, but instead stay strong. Chest towards the thighs. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. Huh? That's 
the sound of magic, your intention. Begin walking the feet towards the hands. Remember each time you hear the sound to repeat your intention three times in your head in present time. Space the feet about shoulder distance and then maybe more if you can't reach the ground but you do want to reach the ground so spread the legs accordingly walk the hands towards the left all the way to the outside of the left foot breathe Walk back towards the middle with the hands and then walk towards the right, the outside of the right foot. Walk back towards the middle. Ground the feet. Try to get as much as possible coverage from the ground of the bottom of your feet. Toes are digging into the mat. Engage the core, slowly lifting up one vertebra at a time. Once you find yourself on the top, do a couple of shoulder rolls. Inhale, hands up towards the sky, exhale, forward fold. Walk the feet back, downward facing dog. Pushing actively the mat away with the hands always. Fingertips are spread. Inhale into plank. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale into plank. Relax the shoulders. Exhale. Inhale into downward facing dog. Inhale into plank. Lower chaturanga. Elbows in towards the body. Lower all the way down. Inhale up to core cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Once again, flowing in, plank. Exhale, ride the breath down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the feet towards the hands. Forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Back to downward facing dog. Look forward, move the left foot forward towards the hands and then the right heel anchors down. Engage the core and you're gonna lift up, leading with your hands, then face. Engage the core, protecting the spine. Warrior one. Exhale, windmilling hands down facing dog. Inhale into plank. Turn to the right side for side plank, lifting up the right arm up towards the sky. Where is the breath? Belly. Expands on inhalation and towards the spine on exhalation. Back to downward facing dog. Inhale into plank. Ride the breath down. Inhale up dog or cobra. Exhale back to downward facing dog. 
actively pushing the mat away with the hands. Always. Look forward, moving the right foot forward, this time plant the left heel down for support. Engage the core, leading with the hands, then the face and everything else. Warrior one. Strong, powerful pose. Exhale, with me the hands, down facing dog. Tailbone up towards the sky. Chest towards the thighs. Look at your navel. Inhale yourself into plank and turn to the left side this time, lifting up the left arm towards the sky. Where is the breath? Many of the times when we are in like more core requiring poses, the breath is restricted to the chest. So be aware of that, just force it in if you have to. Back to double facing dog, pushing the mat away. Walk the feet towards the hands. Find yourself in forward fold. Hug the opposite elbows. Moving left and right. Relaxing the shoulders. Find yourself in sitting position, hugging the knees. Bring the chin towards the chest, relax the shoulders. Place the right knee in front of you and the left leg goes back for a pigeon. Relax. The right leg. The right foot. And maybe lower on top of the right knee. Maybe walk the hands forward.
Slowly begin lifting. Once you find yourself on the top, see if you can get like the left angle off of the bra and maybe even grab it with your left arm. And if you are grabbing it, maybe push it towards you. Relax the left side. Send the breath there. Especially if you're pushing it towards you, send the breath there. Breath is going all the way to the belly. Very slowly begin releasing the left foot if you're grabbing it. If you're not, that's fine. And get it all the way around. So left knee is going to stuck on the top of the right knee. And then remove the meat off of your sitting bones if you have to. You want to have both of your sitting bones on the mat. Moving the feet away from you a little bit. Come back to your intention from the beginning of the class. And repeat it three times in your head in present time. So that left knee is going forward and feel free to leave it there if you can. If not, then just move the left foot a little bit forward so you can get the right leg out of there and behind you for pigeon on this side. So left knee forward, right leg back. Relax the left thigh and the left leg and once you feel like those are relaxed, you can lower it maybe on top of the left knee. Maybe moving the hands forward.
When you had enough of that, walk the hands towards you at the forward. And begin slowly lifting up. Very, very important to get out the poses that involve big groups of muscles. Slow. Um, lift the right ankle and then see if you can get it with your right arm. Okay, if you can. Relax on the right, got it. If you feel like putting your foot in the crease of your elbow, feel free. Today is not for me. Where is the breath? So we we'll get the right foot. Slowly release, very, very slowly, you will go wrong. It's gonna end up on the left side of the left thigh. Hands stuck in the knees on top of each other as much as you can, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Removing the knee from your sitting bones and make sure you're not sitting on your right, on your left foot. Great. Notice any differences between the sides on the previous side to this one. Is this like a harder or is this more laid back? Or is it like the same? These are my dogs. They're just being dogs. So we're gonna move the feet forward and sit away from them. <laughs> sit away from your feet. Remove the knees underneath your sitting bones, leaning forward towards the toes. Imagine I walk behind you and I press in the middle of your spine. So here you want to kind of go towards the toes with the face without curving the spine first. Inhale back up slowly from the pose and exhale push forward more. Extending the entire back of the legs. So on the inhale like Slightly back up, exhale towards the toes and keep moving with the breath. Inhale yourself into a straighter spine and then make like a Shoulder distance between the feet. Shoulder distance. Moving towards the feet again. Again, imagine I walk behind you and I push in between your shoulder blades. And then start curving, so eventually move the nose towards in between the legs.
<laughs> Remember the noises are to focus you. I'm laughing because I'm hearing one of my dogs is joking and it's just because they're playing with each other and it's just one of those things. It sounds pretty dramatic but they're fine. And back to the present moment. Inhaling yourself back up to neutral and eventually grab your legs, maybe with the hand of the, uh, the help of the hand, the arms, and then place your feet together about a foot away from you. Moving the knees towards the earth and maybe helping the knees with the elbows. And lean forward and curve the spine. Breathe. Inhale yourself back up to neutral. Up. And then uh, move the feet far apart from each other, maybe like 80% of what you can. So it's not a split, but it's like 80%. Leaning forward again. So try to keep the spine straight here. If you're not straightening the spine, you're not really stretching the legs as much. You're more like stretching the spine. And at this point, the spine is pretty stretched. So it's not like you're going to get injured, but like at some point you can. If you're not stretched right now, you won't. But the whole point of this is to really concentrate on the inner thighs, inner hamstrings. So you want to keep the spine straighter. One thing is like really use your arms for the length of the spine. If you're still curving the spine, maybe have the arms behind you even. Leaning forward. So inhale. Straightening the spine a little bit and backing up a little bit from the pose. Exhaling forward. Flex the toes. You can also use the natural position here. Inhaling slightly back up, exhaling forward. Relax the feet, relax the legs, breathe, come back to your intention from the beginning of the class, repeat it three times in your head in the present time. Alright, let's begin walking the hands forward. Very slowly. Full breath in. Very slowly begin to walk the hands towards you. Slowly because you don't want those big muscles of the legs to snap right back in, if they would. Inhaling hands above the head, interlacing fingers. Tighten the core, but still move the breath to the core. And moving the hands towards the left foot. Inhaling hands above the head, strong core. Still move the breath into the belly. Exhale towards the right foot, facing forward. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale up. 
Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left. Inhale, up. Exhale, right. Inhale up, lower the hands down, come back to the shoulders. Make a few rolls of your uh, ankles, and then change the direction. Engage it again, and change it again, and get your knees towards the chest eventually, out with the arms, and pull your legs together. Cutting the knees to chest and find your way laying down, still hugging the knees. Laying down we go. Lift up the knees towards the sky. Lift up your lower back a little bit. Place the, the hands next to you with the palms down for support. And begin lifting. Just lift the sitting bones and the tailbone up. Engaging the core. Up. Up again. Eventually find yourself into a cloud pose with the feet above your head, behind your head. Do not move the neck left and right, very important. Keep the neck straight. More on your shoulders than on your neck. Breathe. At some point, place your hands on the lower back and begin walking them towards the upper back. Lifting up the legs into a shoulder stem. I forgot for a second. Shoulder stem. So, lifting up toes far away from the shoulders. knees towards the ears and make a transition into cloud pose. Arms away from you. Arms towards the spine, very slowly beginning to make a transition into hugging the knees, but like one rubber at a time. Hug the knees at some point. Move the knees towards the left. Extend the right arm up towards the sky behind you. And then look towards the right toes. Um, right fingers, not toes. Sorry. towards the left.
And the mist was the chairs uh, facing the sky. Then you drop the mist towards the right. Elevate the left arm and behind you. And look towards the left fingers, left toes. Towards the right. Eventually, have you miss towards the chest? Moving left and right, massaging the spine. Find your way into a comfortable laying down position with feet away from you or feet knees apart. Whatever it is that would make your spine flat. Walk the shoulders down and uh, place the palms up towards the sky, tucking the chin slightly as you want to. Expand the neck. The neck is a beautiful continuation of the spine. When you're straight with your spine, you keep your neck straight as well. You know? In this pose, it helps if you tuck in the chin. This is the most important part of the entire practice because of two reasons. Like the name of my new song. Two reasons. Number one, it seals the practice. That's why I like to do sound bath and kind of beneficial sound. When you're in this pose, it just helps you Feel the practice. And second reason is it teaches your body perfect body alignment. Both of those reasons could be like one reason, really. But if you know them, that's that's the reason. But I'd like to remind every time you remember it, it teaches your body perfect body alignment, you can make a little bit of a minor adjustment to help have better alignment. Notice any areas in your body that might be a little tighter. Anything tight, relax now. Sending the out breath to areas that need relaxing. And sometimes there is just one muscle or one little area, groups of muscles that's tighter. And it happens because of a thought that's connected to that group of muscles. Let go. Relaxing the sturdy from the feet. Relax the toes and the heels. 
Relax the ankles, knees, thighs, core, shoulders. Out breath. Relax the hands and the fingers. Relax the throat and facial muscles and the scalp. Visualize the clouds again above. Clouds passing by. The sun is shining through. Shining on you. A beautiful life you have. So beautiful. Keep staring at the clouds and accept the sunshine. As I'm going to be playing just for a couple minutes, some healing sound. Also, wherever your intention is going to be going to the clouds, repeat it three times in your head, that's the time. to one side, left or right. You can, um, 
in a position. We start with your side body and use the arms to help you up for the straight spine. Now slamming yourself out, very good my friend, slowly gaining control. Thank you for practicing with me today. Hope you have a beautiful day, week, year, night. You do have a beautiful so be happy and namaste. See you. Bye.